Basti. Now we are going to make a brief introduction to the concept of time in Ayurveda. Kala. The time is one of the major factors for our health. Time there is, go is going to be understand, understood in several layers. The first layer is the time of your life. If you are young, if you are an adult, if you are an old elder person, your metabolism is going to be working in different manners. The first phase of our life is going to be a phase more related to building our um, body. It's more anabolic phase. The second stage, it's usually from the 20s for the, to the 60s, it's going to be a more productive time of our life. It's going to be a more uh, strong metabolism. It's going to be a more time for we can work and we can produce more. And the third phase from the 50s, 60s onwards, it's going to be a more catabolic phase. That if you're not taking the proper uh, attention to your body needs, probably it's going to get old very quickly. In Ayurveda, we are supposed to live 120 years as we can understand today a person from, with 60 years that it's healthy. In Ayurveda, this same person is the state that we should be reaching at the 120 years. That's why Ayurveda takes a lot of importance to daily routine of uh, doing proper uh, nutrition in the mouth and also in the skin. We are going to speak about uh, oleation, Abhyanga, in the next video. But here uh, we are still very uh, much close to the food aspects of Ayurveda. So in Ayurveda we are always very attentive to time. The first aspect of time is the life process of time. Since you are uh, since you take birth to the moment that you pass away. The second point of uh, time that it's important in Ayurveda are the seasons. In Ayurveda we have six seasons that are the late winter, the spring, the summer, the monsoons, the autumn and the early winter. Each one of these seasons have a more specific uh, orientation about daily routine. We are going to say a little bit about this also in this series. But the point is that uh, our body works quite differently in a physiological and psychological terms during these six seasons. Not every place in the world have these six seasons. For example, uh, the monsoons are not very clear in Europe. There are some places like uh, tropical forests that usually only have two seasons during the year. But the point is that it's not going to be more than six seasons. And uh, if you only have five or four or three or two or one, probably one is not going to be, but if you're living in the Arctic Pole, probably it's going to be two, right? So in Ayurveda, the second layer of this concept of time is relating to the weather, the six seasons that we take during the year. Each one of them with specific uh, guidelines for what time to wake up, what kind of food to eat, what kind of uh, clothes to dress, what kind of physical activities to have. Don't worry. Uh, we are going to reach this point also. The third concept of time that it's important, it's during our day. We have uh, different phases of metabolic action. 
The phase when the sun is just rising to the time where the sun is getting to starting to get really hot. This is the first phase. There is more, more moisture in this phase. The second phase is when the sun is already strong up to the time when it's uh, losing its strength and it's not so crushing. That is the second uh, phase of the day and it's more hot this phase. The third phase is from this point onwards up to the sunset when it's getting um, very windy or there is a lot of things going like loud sounds around <laughs> when the nature is more shaking in a sense that it's not earth sh earthquake but it's also just like people uh, going around and there is more dryness in the air and the wind is easier to move around so these are the three phases during the daytime from the sunrise to the sunset there is also the same three phases from the sunset to the sunrise. The first phase, uh, it's when the energy that was shaking the afternoon settled down and it gets more stable, it gets more smooth, and it gets a little bit of moisture again. After this phase, around midnight, when the time uh, people are sleeping and uh, things are going quieter, uh, it's the time that our mind is working during the night and we are digesting the impressions of the day. So it's a very intense process, mind process. It's usually from around just before one, two hours the midnight, two hours after the midnight. We don't have the sun as a, a, a sign there, but we can say if we are in a full moon um, period, is the time that the moon is just like up our heads, okay? And the third time during the night is the time that everything gets very subtle and everything gets very usually quiet. If you're in India, people are already playing uh, some devotional music but it's a time when it's very easy to go into meditation or have some astral um, feelings and experience. So these are the six movements of the energy of prana during the day. So we have three phases uh, of uh, time during our life, six phases during the year, six phases during the day and three phases during the digestion. The first phase when you just finished and you're still feeling a little bit heavy and sleepy and not so much active, this is the first phase. There is, there is more, more moisture there. Um, the second phase your digestion is just like uh, very hot and you're feeling a little bit of uh, sensation that you need to take some clothes and all the stuff. You ask if the uh, person uh, put some, uh, there's some problem with their air conditioner or they put some hot in the place. And the third phase is when this hot's not so much there. You start to think a little bit about food again. You're uh, uh, ready to do some physical exercise, maybe you are feeling light again, right? So these are the three phases of digestion. If you are a woman, there is also three phases uh, concerning the uh, menses. In the first phase of your menstrual period, just after you finish the menses, is a phase that your body is building tissues and it's uh, accumulating water. Uh, not that you're feeling just like with swelling, but your body is getting with juice. The second phase is the phase after the ovulation, after the fertile period, when your body is just like transforming a lot itself. And the third phase is the phase when your body is flushing, it's moving the tissues that were not 
um, fertilized out of your body. We are going to say more about the woman cycle in another video and some Ayurvedic tenets for the health in this period. But here is just an introduction of this concept of time in different uh, layers of life. In Ayurveda we use a lot of Kapha, Pitta and Vata to say about this and that, but here we are just introducing the concept as a thing that is um, natural. You can look around and see if you uh, watch this thing and say, oh, this also happens in my life. There is no monsoons in the place I live. Okay, don't, don't worry. But the point is that these are very natural phenomena that you can just like observe if it's uh, present in your daily life. Usually it is. Okay? So, once again, thanks again for watching and uh, I hope to see you in the next video. If you wanna like, subscribe, share, write, <laughs> please do so. I'll be glad to receive your call. Namaste. Mm -hmm.